What's going on YouTube? This is the Center of Light here. And back again with another news report here. Supposedly, Facebook has out of nowhere deleted thousands of accounts which were let us read the uh, description here. This was posted on October 13th of 2018 at 11:42 and uh, it says some 800 anti-establishment accounts and pages have been yanked from Facebook in a sweeping crackdown the social media giant framed as a fight against spammers RT talked to those who were targeted in the cleansing among the hundreds of pages and accounts Facebook and Twitter took down were those both on the political left and right, ranging from conspiracy theorists and police brutality watchers to news outlets with non-mainstream angles. While their content could be at times described as controversial, the bulk of the banished pages boasted large followings and outreach. Um, so supposedly, according to RT, guys most of the channels that were taken down were uh, either claimed to be conspiracy theorists it just it's really strange to me because it's always those who see more than the general public those who do their research and stuff like that and it says uh, it says RT spoke to some of the videos silent or voices silenced by the Facebook move here's what they had to say and um, this one comes from Jason Bassler, the Free Thought Project, 3.1 million followers. That's a lot of followers, guys. It says the Free Thought Project builds itself as a hub for free thinking conversations. Both his Facebook and Twitter accounts were shut down in the pre midterm purge. Jason Bassler, who co founded the project in 2013, told RT that. What Facebook did is an act of political censorship. It has nothing to do with its stated goal to clean up its platform from spam. Um, my opinion here, guys, is that what exactly gives Facebook the right to call what channel is spam or not? And uh, by them just out of nowhere, just deleting the channels is really strange to me no warning at all what it seems to me is that uh, it just seems like they don't want people to know too much they don't want people to say too much uh, a lot of people call it fear-mongering when really it's just speculation and it's just taking evidence and explaining what it could mean, you know. It says, by spinning the story as a fight against unworthy news trash, Facebook itself is misleading users with its own version of fake news, he said. This is nothing more than political censorship and trying to eradicate certain political ideologies. So that was one report that came about guys and there's another one here by Nicholas Burnaby founder of the anti-media 2.1 million followers like it's just very strange if these are spams how come they have so many followers obviously they're saying something that that these people want to hear and it just seems like not just Facebook but Twitter and you know YouTube they're really cracking down on a lot of this stuff and it just seems to have popped up out of nowhere. And they just started doing this in 2018. And uh, it says, Nicholas Barnaby, he says, blogger and entrepreneur behind the independent news aggregator, the anti-media believes the most troubling thing in Facebook's treatment of media pages is that tech giants are now trying to police cultural dialogue by posing as political 
posing as politically neutral. That could be perceived as Facebook itself meddling in elections because we are only a few weeks away from the midterms and they go and target 800 politically oriented media pages for deletion. Something is seriously going on here and most of my subscribers know from my past, uh, the past news reports I've done on Hillary Clinton and her plot that she is planning for the 2020 election. It seems to all make sense if you put all this stuff together, guys. It says, he added that the majority of the ban pages held very anti-establishment, very anti-authoritarian views that appeal to those who take on election is very different from what mainstream media has to offer. So, uh, I'm going to read this last one to you guys. It says, uh, Matt Savoy, the Free Thought Project, 3.1 million followers. It says, it is hard to overestimate the implications for those that were swept up in the purge. Matt Savoy of the Free Thought Project said, many of the affected websites will be out of business and thousands of people will be out of work. It says, this is like a death blow. Facebook was a source of how we were able to get our links out and drive traffic to the website, and we no longer have it. The few remaining employees that we have, they are going to be gone. Journalists did not have any time to prepare for the looming crackdown, Savoy said, and at first, the staff thought it was a mere glitch. So, I'd like to know what you guys think about this. So, make sure you leave a comment on your opinion on what this could be that's going on. And uh, if you like my work, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, this is the Synonym of Light, guys. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next video. I'm out.